Parkinson's disease is a progressive illness that affects the nervous system and any part of the body controlled by the nerves, including the muscles. Over time, this affects so many things that we typically take for granted, even things as simple as eating and swallowing. We're here going to be talking more about Parkinson's disease, and Wendy Trotter from Willis Knighton is here to give us more information about what Parkinson's patients deal with. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Let's talk about how it affects the body over time, specifically the nervous system. Okay, so that's kind of a loaded question. It's a good one, but can but be it's very, a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. Okay. So just to make it really simple, um, you have these little neurotransmitters in your brain, uh, dopamine. They get depleted from whatever, environmental causes and rarely genetic causes. Um, and dopamine is responsible for your motor functions, mm -hmm. um, your motivation. It also affects those not like autonomic type things like swallowing, blinking, speaking, and speaking. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. So let's talk about that. Um, many people are familiar with people having shakes and tremors. So um, let's talk about how hard that can be with head and the mouth that just chewing and swallowing. So typically, occasionally you'll see some that have the little, you know, jaw tremor. Um, but more often what we see is because of that lack of dopamine, dopamine is like the oil for your engine. If you don't have enough, things just don't work as well. So in the mandible right here, you'll see that they're just not as strong. So they're not chewing as well. Um, they also kind of leave their mouth open, which causes drooling, um, swallowing. Again, these are all muscles mm -hmm. and they're not getting the dopamine to work properly. So let's talk about some of the medications that can possibly help with these symptoms and then do those drugs have any side effects that caregivers should be aware of before going into those? Absolutely. So our number one treatment since 1950s has been carbidopa levodopa. That's a mouthful. Yeah, uh, don't ask me to say that. Yeah, no. <laughs> brand name is cinnamon. Um, that's your dopamine. That's how we're trying to fill that tank back up with oil. Um, and then there's other types of dopamine. Um, typically what you see with them, number one side effect with the cinnamon is going to be nausea and vomiting. So we do, we titrate it very low and slow to get the therapeutic threshold. Um, some of the other medications that you can use, you know, for the drooling and whatnot, side effect uh, um, like glycopyrrolate for the drooling, it can cause hallucinations. Mm. Wendy, ha have you ever noticed um, people when they're transitioning from one stage to the next that they can kind of hang out in that one stage for an extended amount of time before progressing to the next? Absolutely, I see that more commonly. Because there's no stopping it, right? Wendy? There's no stopping it, not but yet. But you can progress the time. Yes, um, you. those people can stay in a stage two for as long as they can fight it. You know, it's, um, if they stay active and help out those other little neurotransmitters that's gonna help out their own dopamine, they do so much better. How, do, how um, since we're on this topic right yeah. now, um, what are some things they can do to kind of prolong that in that second stage that you're talking about? Oh my God, it, so uh, locally we have the Rocksteady Boxing Class. It is so fabulous. Um, that was created kind of after, you know, Muhammad Ali. Everybody was like, how did he do so well for so long? It's because he was so active. So they've got that. Uh, and tell us got, how that works, Wendy. Like, why is being active, you know, um, used to deter it? Um, it? It helps those other chemicals that also boost up that dopamine. And it's, exercise is good for everybody, mm -hmm. but especially those that have Parkinson's. Okay. Um, tell us a little bit about the Parkinson's support groups and when and where do people meet? Okay. So first I'll talk about uh, the main one. Uh, we meet every third Friday of each month at 1 p.m. at the Willis Knighton Eye Institute. Okay. Um, it's called Northwest Louisiana Parkinson's Resource. You can look us up on Facebook. Um, and because of this resource, there's been a subgroup created from one of the patients, um, Tommy Williams. He has a group, um, it's the people with Parkinson's, and they meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They do all kinds of great stuff. They have outreach, they collect food for different people. It's not just about, oh, how it, fun. It, it, it's great, okay. it's great. That sounds great, yeah. actually. Well, thank you so much, Wendy, for being here today and for talking to us and sharing your expertise thank with you. us and our viewers. I appreciate yeah. your time. Thank you.